Today we will be making Carnage's Axe Hand. These are things you'll need. Cardboard, box cutter, pen, spray paint, black acrylic paint, newspaper, white glue, Mod Podge, sponge brush, and a fine pointed paintbrush. You also need a cardboard tube. First I started out by uh, drawing the rough shape of the axe head on a piece of cardboard. Then I cut that piece out uh, using a box cutter. Uh, and I gave myself extra room on the end just in case uh, I made a mistake or just needed more material. Then I uh, refined the axe, axe head shape because I didn't like how it was looking. Um, so I just marked off some parts on the sides that I was going to cut off and then I cut that off with a box cutter. Um, just trying to get it to a shape that I liked. Then I added uh, some details that I saw on some other uh, Carnage axe hands that I've seen. Then I got a uh, thick uh, cardboard tube. Uh, this is not like a paper towel roll. Uh, this was like really thick cardboard that I had to use like a hacksaw to uh, cut properly. And I just cut that to size. And this would become the handle of the axe itself. And I glued that on with some supports from made out of cardboard. And I did a little test with it, uh, just making sure it was sturdy enough and that the design would work. Then I made a like gauntlet out of Zero Boss cardboard and I glued that to the uh, handle. And then I used strips of Zero Box cardboard uh, and glued those from the gauntlet to the axe head. Um, I did this so I could conform the strips into a shape that would fit over your hand. Um, I just did this because it was like the easiest way I thought I could do it. Um, and also all these strips will be covered by paper mache and I thought it would give the prop itself kind of a cool texture um, but yeah it was kind of hard uh, but it was worth it because uh, your hand does have a good amount of space uh, in there and it's very comfortable to wear Also, I kind of used some strips to fill in some gaps uh, that were in the prop. Then I glued more strips on the gauntlet just to kind of keep that texture going. Um, just so when I paper mache it, it'd be more uh, coherent. I did another uh, test fit and it works pretty well and it is very sturdy. And now it's time for paper mache. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I'm waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Yeah, paper mache. Everyone's favorite part of any video ever it just has the most riveting commentary all right so I don't know how to do paper mache it's pretty simple you get some newspaper you get some uh, some white glue you water it down a bit and then you uh, put that watered down glue on whatever you're paper macheing put some newspaper on there put more glue on it and rinse and repeat and do a few layers of that let it dry, bada bing, bada boom. Your thing is now paper mache. So, yeah, I did this to the whole prop. Um, mostly just add structure to the axe head itself because it was kind of flimsy. Um, and also just to make things uh, look like 
it's one thing and not multiple parts hot glued together. Um, and also, uh, paper, paper mache kind of gives a texture, you know, you can get wrinkles in the paper when it dries uh, or drips in the glue. And I wanted that for this prop because that would give it an interesting texture, which I think fits the whole carnage symbiote uh, thing, you know. So just give it a nice, nice texture and also make it look cohesive and coherent. And also what I do, I uh, put on some layers of Mod Podge, this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, I put on like two, three layers of Mod Podge, uh, just kind of to seal everything in. Uh, and it kind of smooths out some, uh, some of like the wrinkles and, uh, you know, other textures kind of, it kind of fills in some gaps that you might have missed. And then I primed it with some uh, flat gray uh, spray paint. Then I went over it with a, kind of like a maroon red, kind of, kind of like a deep red. Um, yeah, I think I did a couple coats of that just so I could get a nice red color. I would have used like a kind of a brighter red, but um, my bright red spray paint was running real low. Then I got some black spray paint and I just sprayed the edge of the axe. Um, just get some nice color detail there. And then I painted on um, some like veins uh, with acrylic paint. Uh, I just kind of followed the wrinkles and uh, kind of lines that was left by the paper mache. Um, I just painted those with some black acrylic paint uh, to look all veiny and uh, symbiote-like. Uh, and this part took a really long time. It was, and it was very tedious. Um, but the result was just perfect. It turned out exactly how I wanted it. Also, if I made any mistakes, I just uh, got like a moist paper towel and uh, wiped the acrylic paint away. After that, I did another test fit, and it was complete. Um, you could put a clear coat on on this, just kind of seal everything in. I didn't because I was just scared of ruining the prop, because you can do that if you apply a bad clear coat. Uh, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.